The document states that the UK believes the period's duration should be determined simply by how long it will take to prepare and implement the new processes and new systems that will underpin the future partnership. The paper further states that the UK agrees this points to a period of two years, but wishes to discuss with the European Union the assessment that supports its proposed end date. Although the Prime Minister had previously made a request for a two-year transitional period, the reference in the leaked document is the first instance of the transitional period possibly being more open-ended than originally thought. However, addressing journalists today after Prime Minister's questions, Theresa May said she still expects the transition period to last around 24 months, adding that the European Union talked about 21 months, but we're talking about 24. In the leaked paper, there is no explicit rejection of the EU's demand that all European nationals arriving in the UK during the transition period must be given the same free movement rights as those who arrived beforehand. But a government source has said they're not backing down on this issue, but they're also not putting a roadblock in the way at the outset. Earlier this month, the Prime Minister insisted that EU citizens who arrived during the transition period must be treated differently. The position paper also proposes establishing a joint committee so that problems arising during the transitional period can be dealt with in good faith.